அட்டகாசமான அரசியல்வாதியாக பியூர் பாலிடிக்ஸ் பயிற்சி பட்டறை நேரடி மற்றும் இணைய வழிவகுப்புகள் பிப்ரவரி இருபத்தி மூன்று முதல் மார்ச் எட்டு வரை தொடர்புக்கு Sir, the Public Examinations Prevention of Unfair Means Bills 2024 seeks to curb down unfair means and malpractices, leakage of question papers, organized malpractices, etc. committed during the recruitment examination and entrance examination. Sir, the question also arises that why should there be an entrance examination for professional courses when already students are qualified through board examination i can understand competitive examinations can be conducted for recruitment there is uh, no need for holding entrance examinations so far as the professional courses are concerned sir i would like to quote dr ambedkar what he said i quote examination is something quite different from education but in the name of raising the standard of education they are making the examination so impossible and so severe that the backward communities which have hitherto not had the chance of entering the portals of university are absolutely kept out sir this bill equally applies to the neat exams conducted by the national testing agency but the question is whether there is any need for such entrance exam called neat sir neat's introduction has brought dr ambedkar's fear into the life under the garb of raising the quality of education <clears throat> they made it impossible if not close to impossible for the students belonging to the scheduled caste scheduled tribe obcs undertaking medical education the medical education for these people is not only inaccessible but unfulfillable fantasy sir neat has become neat has become a booming business for coaching centers which capitalize upon the students dreaming to become doctors which only affluent people can afford in india neat coaching centers are generating income around 5000 crores annually which shows that the coaching centers are an industry by itself so this has forced some of the students to take extreme steps such as resorting to malpractices and some students commit suicide out of frustration and realization that the dream of becoming a doctor will never be achieved till now in the state of tamil nadu neat has taken the lives of 16 students by shattering their dreams instances of malpractices in neat including impersonation aiding other candidates directly or indirectly and attempting to communicate with others have become increasingly common sir why can't the union government allow the states to opt out from the need when the students have already qualified by undertaking board examination sir i would like to uh, bring to your notice tamil nadu legislative assembly passed a need exemption bill and the bill was reserved for the assent of the honorable president in february 2022 and till now the fate of the bill is not known sir i raised a parliamentary question number 405 it is dated 6th of february 2024 i asked what is the status of the neat exemption bill to my shock there there is no response at all given by the honorable minister sir such an evasive answer or no answer is in violation of rule 12 of procedure and conduct of business in rajya sabha where it is clearly stated that an answer should be specific and complete sir when ministers cannot give answers to a uh, member of parliament's question how do you expect students to answer the question sir 
Sir, I have also introduced a neat exemption bill and that is a private member bill. Sir, now coming back to the uh, bill. Sir, malpractices should be prevented at any cost. However, Please there conclude. are certain provisions, sir, which needs clarification and reconsideration. I'll run through it, sir. Sir, in clause 3, the word unfair means is qualified that only if it is committed for the monetary or wrongful gain. So, only when an offence is committed Mr. for the purpose of... Sir, two minutes, sir. For a monetary uh, no, or please, wrongful please gain. Conclude. conclude. Sir, I, I have... Uh, no, no. I think your yes. time is over. Yes. Sir, very important bill. It affects the students across... But, uh, but we have many speakers. So, yes. please conclude. Sir, this uh, clause 3, it qualifies that the unfair means only when it is committed for a monetary or wrongful gain, sir. Sir, I would suggest that the word monetary or wrongful gain should be removed and any undue advantage is being caused by exercise of the Thank you. Thank powers. you, Ms. Wilson. I then think three, uh, class 3 gets attracted. Sir, so far as the class 4 is concerned, the language employed is very vague, sir. The word facilitate indulgence is also very vague, sir. Sir, they should have utilized the word like commission of any such unfair means. Sir, the draftsmen probably would have slept here. The word employed there is not appropriate. Sir, likewise, clause 10 2. Sir, in 10 2, clause 10 2. Thank you. I, you I think made, you're, sir, you've already overshot your I'll time. Off, sir. sir, this is very important, sir. There are less speakers only. Sir, under there clause 10 2. Yes, sir, I'll finish it off. Don't worry, sir. Sir, under clause 10 2, sir. Sir, you are bringing service providers under clause 10 2. Whoever commits offenses uh, under clause 10 1, even the service providers under 10.2 will be equally liable to be punished. Sir, that uh, is uh, unnecessary because if you want to punish a person who is indulging in unfair means, you can I think punish Mr. him. Mr. Wilson, and not I'll all the service providers. The next speaker. Sir, coming to clause no, 12, I, I, please, I'll I think, finish it off, sir. Coming to clause 12, here. sir, I will tell you, sir, this clause 12, the power is of the central government is not there to refer the matter to a central investigating agency. Sir, I move on to the, the next speaker. Federal, one minute, sir. I'll finish it off. No, I, I think we, we sir, are I'll already... Conclude, sir, you I'll conclude. Be, sir, you have overshot by two power, minutes. The power is only vested with the state, sir. Yes. The law and order, sir, is a, is a subject belonging to the state. So, therefore, sir, they Thank cannot you. say the next that speaker. they will refer it to the central Shri agency, Sandeep sir. Kumar that power can No, I, I think... We, me, me, Mr. Wilson, I think we are we are already pushing six o'clock, so we can we cannot really give more time. So please, please conclude. He is encroaching upon the state's power. It is illegal and void. Thank you. Therefore, sir, I would say, sir, this bill, except for this clause, sir, other things, sir, what I was suggested, sir, the, the honourable minister. Uh, should uh, see that it could be amended okay. and suitably introduced before uh, thank, this you. August thank you thank you thank you very much sir thank you